Hey guys, it's me Sasuke3 and yeah, I have my morning voice and I wanted to do this video outside But weather weather does not like me But we're gonna open some packages today anyways, and it's not webkins. It's just nerd stuff. So Yay nerd stuff. So we're gonna start out with this I can ever you know what I'm inside I have scissors all right. I see it in here and Oh my god. It's a refrigerator magnet. Ah! But this is CQ Cucumber. And in the Octo expansion for Splatoon 2, every time you fail a trial, you did this. Test failed. And he freaking just blows up the ink bob on your back. This guy, like you meet him, he's like, oh, cute, nice little guy. No. No. But we love CQ Cucumber. Because he tells you the truth. Next we have this, which came in a much different envelope, if I must say. This is why I don't want to use scissors. I might accidentally cut the receipt. Ooh, well the design didn't come out as like finely printed as I would like, but that still looks pretty good. I want like another little wallet bag and I saw this artwork and I'm like, oh, princess! And like that is such a beautiful picture because here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you, when you're trying to find nerd stuff, I'm gonna give you a little thing. It's almost impossible to find stuff that isn't official artwork that's been stolen and being printed by individuals. I didn't realize how much I have a thing against selling official artwork until now. On a scale of one to don't on selling official artwork, don't! But this is cute and I think that the artwork is really cool looking It just, it's so cute. Oh, I love Blaze so much. And now we get into the things for the last part. I'm gonna go ahead and wait until I get the next stuff. I bet you won't be able to figure out where I got this stuff from. I don't know, can you? Oh. Okay, I have like three or four posters. I kind of have a poster problem. This is going to just unfold really big and like slap everything in the face. Oh, that, that's a surprise, okay. Oh my god, I've wanted this one for a while. Okay, I thought this was official artwork for a while, and then I saw, no, it's actually fan art, and I was like, oh my god, yes, look at this. Ah! And this is the next one. It's from Xenoblade Chronicles 1. It's Valak Mountain. It's so pretty. I saw this, and I'm like, oh my god. It, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. This last one, I saw it, I started laughing, and I'm like, I need this. Take me to your E-Leader. I, I guess it's not as funny anyone that doesn't play Splatoon. The E-Leader is a sniper rifle. I have absolutely no idea where I'm gonna put like half of the stuff. Okay, and the last thing. Look at this amazing pixel art of Zeke. Zeke is like one of the best characters. I don't, he's a comic relief character, but he's so funny. <laughs> Handling a man's title. Why me? Hey, Morag, how about next time you put on a skirt and some heels? How about you die in a fire, Zeke? Okay, Morag is my favorite character, but Zeke, I think, is my second favorite. I absolutely love him. Hey, Charlotte. Hey. So I got a sticker because I, I actually don't know why I got it as a sticker, but like, I don't even know where I'm gonna put the sticker to be honest. I just really wanted this. So we got three posters, a sticker, a magnet, and a bag. But yeah, I'll see you when I get that stuff because it'll probably be like two weeks. Over a week later and you would not believe what the weather is. I got another one of these. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Yes, I gave up and used scissors because how am I supposed to help this? I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I'm just, I'm old enough, I need scissors. <laughs> and it was taped here to the bottom of the box. <laughs> okay. Please remove plastic film on charm. Okay. Oh my god, wait. Hold on a sec. They taped. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I see something. Oh my god. Look at this! Ah! It's so cute! Oh! Okay. Okay. Ah, I just fogged up my glasses doing that. Oh my god. Yeah, I have to take. I have to be very careful. Take these are double sided, by the way. I'm gonna take this out and be very, very careful. Look at that! It's so pretty. Of course, it's infinite. It's infinite from Sonic Forces. We didn't watch my playthrough of it. Well, I mean, I can't really say I blame you, but like. And then the other one here, we have Gadget or Buddy Rookie. Some people call him Buddy and Rookie. I mean, the fan basically called him Gadget, um, so that's why I call him. I got this side. 
And then we have this side. All right, this is just like amazing artwork. All right, so that's this part. And come back uh, when the other stuff has arrived. Are, are we still doing this? Is it still going on? Okay, so these are supposedly the last two things. This is one of them, and I actually don't know if everything's in there. So we might, might be doing this again. So we're gonna open up this first, and there we are. It's a little wallet because I have that little blades one. It was a little too big. So I saw this. It's like, hey, it has a little ID pouch, and it's a cute little Animal Crossing wallet. And I'm like, that I like. It. <laughs> now this is the reason I have scissors here. This is the person that made this stuff. I'm gonna link their shop in the description because they make a lot of really cool stuff. It's all like custom made, laser cut. And you can already see it, look at this. Oh my, wow, the picture's really not doing it justice. This camera is not doing it justice. This is Pyra's sword from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Look at that, oh my gosh. That is so pretty, so much detail. And yeah, you can see this here. She was also selling a few of these um, Pokemon Go pins and I was like, sure, I'll get my team. And of course, when I got the Aegis Sword, I had to get both Aegis Swords because Mithra is the best. Get out! Interloper! Monster! Well, wait a minute, would you? No! I think it's blades like you that are rare. Well, duh. You do know what I am, right? Lacking in compassion. Huh? A simpleton? This is so unbelievably beautiful. I just, I can't get over the detail. It's so pretty but it's actually not the only thing i got from her shop we're gonna have to wait until the other stuff comes you know i'm starting to think that the weather here is just cursed we get so many nice days but every time i try to record i get this anyways the very last thing's here and we're gonna have a packing slip aren't we yep and i already caught a bit of a glimpse of what's on top so um, spoilers for Xenoblade 2, there's a, there's a, a third Aegis sword. Oh my god. Look at that detail. Holy. And the artist had to make her own template because there's literally like no good references out there for the sword. Which, this is Numa's sword, by the way. And then, you know what? It wouldn't have been complete if we didn't get all the Aegis swords. So this is Malos's sword. Look at all the detail and the fine little... Dang! This is just absolutely gorgeous. With how tiny it is, all of the details. It... Oh, this is so beautiful. I might have to go back to this person's shop and get more of their stuff. Because it's just... Look at how detailed and gorgeous this is. Alright, well you finally made it to the very end of a video. That's not about Webkin. That's just about my nerd stuff. And I hope you see... I have a problem with Xenoblade. So, yeah, I've been filming this for two months now. Alright, so thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.